Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. Be it you have a car, truck, boat, or even an RV, I'm here to help you figure out how to outfit your garage to support your hobbies. Today, we're gonna talk about the Kurt Bluetooth brake controller because this SUV didn't come with one. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Right behind me is my 2021 Winnebago Micro Mini and then my 2018 Ford Expedition. Unfortunately, this Ford Expedition does not come with the integrated trailer brake controller, but it still has the correct weight capacity and payload to tow the Micro Mini. And that crow or bird doesn't like what I'm saying. Hopefully you do. Anyways, let's jump into it. If you guys have been watching my channel, you also know I recently gave up my F-150 and got a Jeep Gladiator. Now, Jeep Gladiators also don't come with a trailer brake controller. They will later on, maybe next year. But until then, I needed a brake controller for both the SUV and the Gladiator. And I decided to go with the Kurt Bluetooth brake controller so I can move it between cars. So without further ado, let's jump into hooking up the Kurt trailer brake controller and see how it works. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is download the app. I'm standing in the shade here because it is uh, very hot today, especially under the sun. Once you open the app, you have to agree to a whole bunch of warnings. Reminded to turn Bluetooth on, push notifications, yes. Uh, and let's get started. Oh yeah, let me take five hours and read the terms and conditions. Okay, all done. All right, now it says, let's plug in the brake controller into the car and then into the trailer. So let's do that. Okay, that is all done. Let's see what the app says. I think I have to turn on my truck. It did not say that. Let me do that. Car is on, Bluetooth needs to be on. It has found the brake controller. It's asking for a code. So the code is inside here. All right, it is successfully paired. Okay, so we are currently profile one. Brakes being applied, hold button to activate brakes. Okay. All right, everything looks good to go. Let's go test it out. I'm gonna set it at 70 and 75% of max output and then the sensitivity of seven and of course as I pull out somebody's pulling up behind me so you also don't have to keep your phone on uh, once you have the settings there's an accelerometer in the actual trailer brake controller that will um, save the settings so you actually can use your phone as normal. It honestly does not feel like this is working. That's not good. Let's force close the app and try again. Accept, accept. It says no devices connected. Sync device, do you want to pair? Yes. Okay, pairing successful, continue. Current profile, yep. Pre hold button to activate trailer brakes. Okay, that worked. Okie dokie, so. Okay, that is working there. Let's change the gain. Okay, 65, that's pretty good, okay. It seems like it's working now. Um, you know apps these days. All right, yeah, this is actually uh, working much better. Now when I push the brake in the car, it actually, the app changes and it says brakes being applied. So 
waving to the neighbor. All right, so yeah, brakes definitely work in there. 65 seems a bit too much. 55 is good sensitivity. Let's go down to five. Hmm. I don't know. All right, but that does seem working. I think I'm gonna keep it at uh, 75. All right, well, I have a 200 mile trip tomorrow with this brake controller. So now that you've seen the setup, I will give you uh, whatever my review and experience of how it was towing this uh, with the app on and off if it actually works. So it will be two seconds for you. It will be 48 hours for me. All right, guys, and I'm back. So. How was it towing 200 miles with the Kurtz Bluetooth brake controller? Well, I tell you what, I was pleasantly surprised. Once I figured out all the app issues, uh, which is, you know, a given with technology these days, it worked seamlessly. I used uh, the brake controller on 75% uh, and then the sensitivity of six, and I could feel it working along the highway and that was great i also went through stop and go traffic for a bit and nothing uh was a problem i also used my phone uh as a phone and i didn't have it on the actual app the whole time and you could feel the brakes working and that's what's great about the system you have to set it up with the phone and once it's set up it remembers the settings you put in now you may notice i'm sitting in a different car and that was the main reason I actually went to Michigan. So be sure you like and subscribe this video to find out what exactly I purchased and why I did that. But now before we wrap this video up, I have to talk about the August giveaway. August is done, so somebody won the $150 OmniWall Power Tool Organization Set. So let's go over how you actually had to enter and then I'll tell you who won. So August was simple. All you had to do was be subscribed to the channel. And if you're not, I can check if you are, so make sure you are. And then you just had to comment on any one of my August videos. If you wanted to comment on all of them, that's great. If you wanted to comment on one and gamble, that's great. And from there, I randomly selected a video. And then from that video, I randomly selected a comment. So firstly, which video got randomly selected? The lucky video was, this is how the Ural is the best motorcycle. And in that video, a lucky person named Alan Otley won the Omni Wall Power Tool organization set. So congratulations, Alan. Now you can organize your power tools perfectly in your garage. So I hope you enjoy that. The information on how to contact me is below. So make sure you reach out to me. So guys, be sure you like and subscribe because next video I will be mentioning how to enter in the September giveaway. And if you guys have any suggestions on the giveaway, leave that in the comments below. But guys, thanks a lot as always for tuning in. And until next time, I'll see you then. Thank you.